Now, to get you out of those January blues, we are giving you guys a chance to win an iPad mini. Get your hands on that. All you've got to do is like our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash 2 TV. Follow that big red arrow down to the app. Enter your details and you're in a twin. Now, our next guest first hit our screens as a leggy model slash DJ on Fade Street. Since then, she has married a member from one of the biggest boy bands in the world, Brian McFadden. She's tried her hand at dancing with the stars in Australia and stepping out in the UK. But what we like the most, obviously, she did home and away. Let's remind yourself. Your tattoos, are they real? Um, well, you can you can have a guess which ones are real and which ones aren't. Go on. That one's real. Mm -hmm. That one's real. That's fake. Oh, what a pro. That's fake. What a show off. Um, but actually, it, they do look really real. How long does that take every day? About an hour and a half, depending on who does it. And there's a waterproof. So these aren't waterproof. So if I went and swam, they'd kind of fade, but I can go So swimming. every day you'd have to do that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But if I, um, if I put the waterproof ceiling on, I can go and play basketball or go to the gym. This one's actually a grenade on my, on my neck, so... This... Vogue, you're so welcome! Welcome to the You're totally flirting with Dan Ewing, by the way. No. <laughs> He's flirting with her. Like She's a married family. woman. YeYeah. <laughs> Um, I actually, I met him there the other day. He is, he's so lovely, isn't he? Yeah, he's lovely. He's and his wife is lovely too. I know, yeah, yeah. Marnie's lovely. And tell me, what was it like actually going behind the scenes, going to, visiting Summer Bay? It was actually mental. And I'd lived in Australia and I'd never gone to Summer Bay. So going there, it was really exciting. And you can't help it when you get there, you're like, oh, I'm on yeah. Summer Bay, will I steal some sand? Because <laughs> everyone does that. You say you were a fan, like all throughout the doctor, you're like, yeah, I was a massive fan. And uh, I guess when you got there, who was the person you're most excited to meet? I think Irene. And I got yeah. to, I obviously, I wanted to meet Alf, but he was on holidays. So oh, no. Irene did, she had to do, but she was good. Irene was lovely as well. And she was just, she was just so nice and normal, mm. not like her sort of lunatic character. <laughs> <laughs> and when you were over there as well, you did Dancing with the Stars in Australia. So did the Aussies fully embrace you? Was it amazing being a part of that show? Yeah, it was. I think like Australians are quite like Irish people. They have the same sort of humour and stuff. So mm. it was sort of easy to fit in over there. And uh, yeah, I loved doing the show. I didn't really do too well, but uh, I still <laughs> loved doing it. Well, you must be getting good at the dancing now because you did obviously stepping out with Brian then. You teamed yeah. up together uh, against a lot of other couples as well. No, you know what? People keep saying that and I'm not getting good at the dancing. It's just that uh, we, <laughs> so we were watching no, it earlier. No, you're really good. And you, you were watching you on really YouTube. Well. And you're brilliant. Yeah, you were. Awesome. No, not like if I'm on my own dancing, I could just never do it at all. Honestly, in clubs or anything, I never did. second. Yeah, but I came second, like, there w there wasn't really that many amazing dancers on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but the outfits, oh, they were so beautiful. That would actually yeah. be my favourite part, getting dressed up, getting your hair done and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, Dancing with the Stars, the outfits were, like, way nicer on that. Like, I just loved them, all the sequins and dresses and stuff I'd never wear. But then uh, for this one, I got to sort of choose a lot of my own stuff. So I was getting the Air Max and everything, which I got to keep. Which oh, was very nice. nice. <laughs> lovely, yeah, lovely. Yeah. And um, obviously, you left Australia and now you're living in London. So is that a big decision to make? Because you're both doing so well over there, you know? Yeah, well, we did. We loved living over there and everything, but I missed mm -hmm. home a lot. So I was yeah, sort of... Because we were talking to Vogue <laughs> just before uh, we went on air. And we were like, oh, uh, yeah, why did you come home? And so she was like, oh, Australia. <laughs> oh, were you was... the driving factor in coming home? Yeah, did you bully just... him into it? No. We came back and we got I got offered the home and away show yeah. and then we got offered stepping out and then I was sort of pushing him to come back with me because I want to be like I miss my mom and stuff so yeah. it was nice who to come home. Who lives in Spain? Yeah, <laughs> okay, I miss my sister. <laughs> and how are you kind of fitting into you know being a wife? Like how long are you married now? Uh, we're married just over a year. A year and a half. So, so, no, does it really feel weird different. though being no. called like a wife? Yeah, that's sort of gross. I, <laughs> I don't like that. It's that makes me seem old, but like it's the same. It's sort of the same, but just now we're sort of like a family, which is nice. Would you ever go and do another reality TV show like Fate Street? I was like Fate Street's biggest fan back in the day. <laughs> Fate Street's only fan. <laughs> no, <come> on. <laughs> um, I loved him Fate Street. It was yeah. good fun, but uh, it just depends the, the concept. Yeah, the concept. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Was... And is there anything else coming up? Are we going to see on the screens? Yeah, I've got a, I've got new projects coming up this year, so I'm really excited. But I in can't UK talk about or them Ireland? Yet. Or both. 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 Very exciting. Yeah. Also. Very exciting. Well, we will be looking forward to seeing you on our TV screens very, very soon. We will press you for what that information is. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much.